<laughs> and this is Shalom Baboyo. No, not you. I'm just waiting for people going by. <laughs> well, anyway, they were gone. Okay. Oh, like, be sure to watch us because we've got interesting stuff. Hilarious. Reality Radio. You won't want to miss all the behind scenes, all the things that really go on when you're on the air. Actually, in the air. In the air. Right. And actually, most of our stuff is up. the radio station is like off the air. Off the air. So right. you see what goes on behind the scenes. It is totally ad lib. There is no words. We have no script. No script, okay? So, so, you know, anything could happen. Anything. Anybody might stop by. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Who knows? Who we knows? may be on Zelda's roof doing the radio <laughs> show. Isn't that a great place? Who's Zelda? I'm, you know that girl, Shaloma. <laughs> <laughs> Do join us, who knows her, <laughs> for radio station right here on Channel 19. Bye-bye now. Okay. Are you on your way in the scene, Mommy? I uh, sure am. What's your name? Jane. Jean, you uh -huh. are so pretty, girl. <laughs> Thank Make you. Make us full figure sisters look good. <laughs> so, so why are you here today? What, what, what brought you here? Actually, I come out here a lot for book signings, but okay. I really liked her book. I read it. It was encouraging or whatever. You read it already? Yeah. Oh, I got goodness. it a few weeks ago. So. Okay. Have you read Shalomith books, uh, uh, Inspirational Conversations, 365 Days from Promise? Comes on Troy Tyler every day at 1045. Was Elder Robinson? Yeah. Yeah, I have sure you read have. That? Yeah, it's on my bookshelf. Yeah. 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 Is it really? Yeah. Where'd you get it from? Afrocentric Did you? Good oh, for you. Uh -huh. I'm going to introduce you to her when okay. we get in here, okay? Right. Yeah, okay. okay. Let's so go. let's come on in. We're calling the book. We're going to see Monique. Us big girls, you know, we got our own, our own fan club. By the way, do you, have you ever met Zelda? Do you know who she is? No, I've never met her. You're talking to her. Get out of here. Yeah. Are you just wearing your conversation with yeah, Zelda? Yeah, you see, I got my butt, girl. Let me give us your hand. Hey, come on, sister, you? girl. Okay. We're going to have some fun, okay. girl. <laughs> you know she... Hey, this is Monique. You're watching ZTV on channel 19. Mm. I said that. Yes, you did. You did. Ow. Oh, wait, I got Oh, it's your turn. It? Hi, I'm Sherry McGee, and you're watching ZTV <laughs> on channel 19. Hi, I'm Sherry McGee, and you're watching ZTV on channel 19. Yes. Now, let's, let's, let's give them all a big round of applause for hanging out here, because you know these sisters say it. Thank you, baby. Now, give me a hug, girl. God bless your sweet spirit. Let me give a hug. Welcome back. I'm your host, Shalomith of the Higher Learning Network, where higher learning comes from within. So trust the process. Did you enjoy our uh, commercial break there? Did you see LaDonna Tittle, your tittle in the middle? She is simply hilarious. <laughs> we have so much fun during, uh, taping that show, so you be sure and join us. And I'll, I'll notify you when upcoming shows are coming. But now this is the part of the scholarship show that you want to see the most. And that is the part that tells you about where to get the money. Show me the money. Well, I'm about to show it to you right here for a manual that I put together just for you because I know you want to go back to school. I know you are tired of that dead end job. Let me tell you what sent me back to school in the first place. I was working at a receptionist, as a receptionist, I've always known that my voice was my gift. So, you know, I'm a talkaholic. And I was working as a receptionist and I was just, I've been doing it for years, probably about 10, 15 years. And it just, I had mastered that. And I was just so bored. I was multitasking before there was multitasking, before there was a word for it. And <clears throat> What really let me knew that it was time to move on, I was working at, I can't think of the name of the building on Wacker, on Monroe and Wacker, I think it is. And they were, City Corp, they were just um, uh, building it. They hadn't finished constructing it yet, so you know that's been a while. And one of the construction workers, uh, an Italian guy, a really handsome guy, I thought he was flirting with him, but it wasn't, he was just, telling me how much he appreciated me and they had completed the project they were working on that floor and <clears throat> excuse me at the end of the very last day he came up to me and said thank you so much and he brought me a dozen roses a dozen red roses and I'm you know how women think it's like okay is this guy trying to hit on me uh I am uh, 
um, I don't know about this. I don't mix business with pleasure. So I said to myself, self, you know I do talk to myself sometimes, you know. And people say you're crazy when you talk to yourself, but you're really not because you have all the answers. So you may as well ask yourself because eventually you'll come up with the answers, right? That she a whole nother nutcase. Anywho, I said, self, um, I don't know what this is about, but I'm just going to accept it. So I thanked him. And he said, I said, why are you giving me these roses? He says, because you made my, my crew and myself, you made our working here so pleasant because you were so professional and you greeted people with love and warmth and you just made everybody feel welcome. And this was like a dingy place. You know, there's all this construction work going on around me while I'm sitting there answering, answering the phone. And trust me, it was not a nice thing all the time. But you would never know that because I'm answering the phone and I'm always being pleasant. That's one of the things that you have to master as a receptionist. And he said, I really hate to leave, but it's time for us to go. And this is our last day. So I just wanted to give you these, this dozen roses to let us know how much we appreciate you and how nice you were to us. And I began thinking after that day, and I said, wow. He said something that really stuck in my mind. And he said that I had mastered that position. And I thought about it. And I had been thinking about it even before he said it. And I had become bored with what I was doing. It was easy. It was, it was too it was. It was just too easy. I could do it. I could answer the phone with my eyes closed. And trust me, I still answer the phone with my eyes closed. And I got the phone bill, high phone bills. I could be paying a mortgage with my phone bills. Anyway, so that kind of persuaded me to move in another direction. I said, I need to go back to school. So that's when I went to, back to school to Columbia College for broadcast communications. At first it was journalism. And I, they sent me out for my first uh, assignment. I had to cover a fire. Uh, I actually, was, I became bored with journalism, so I, I, I started taking photography classes. And then it evolved to photojournalism. And my first assignment was to cover a fire. And I had to walk up and put a camera in the face of a woman who had just lost her two children. And I said, I can't do this. So I said, it's time to do something else. So I went to television, and, and I didn't fit the profile. I'm not 120 pounds, blonde hair, blue eyes. That didn't work, so it's like, OK. What else can I do? Because I still want to be able to talk and I need to be able to write. So I discovered radio. And that's when I found my niche. And then I had to find some money to go to school. So that's when I went to uh, do the research. And I found out all of the grants that were available. And I always kept that information because I knew one day if I decided to go back to school, I would need that information. And now I've got the information and I can share the information with you. Aren't you happy? So grab pen and paper, call somebody and tell them the Higher Learning Network is on and we've got information for you. So what I'm going to do is give you a few websites to go to where you can get free scholarships. There is nobody in this country that has to pay ever, ever, ever. Listen to this right here, right now. Don't ever, ever, ever in this lifetime take out a loan for money to get to send your children to school. You don't have to. It's too much free money. First scholarship is the Ron Brown Scholarship. You go to www.ronbrown.org. You remember the um, politician, Ron Brown? Ronbrown.org. That's one. There's also, I'm sure you're probably familiar with the United Negro College Fund scholarships. And even if I'm giving you these scholarships and you can't write them down fast enough, just go to Google and type in the name of the scholarship that I gave you and it'll show up. So the second one was the United Negro College Fund scholarships. And it's really a long name, but I'm going to give it to you. It's uncf.org slash scholarships slash uncfscholarship.asp, okay? If you didn't get it, just go to Google and type in United Negro College Fund Scholarships, okay? All right, the next one is the Jackie Robinson Foundation Scholarships. That address is jackierobinson.org. That's my uncle, you know that, right? jackierobinson.org. The next one is the Intel Science Talent Search. So if uh, you have any youth or students, for teachers or counselors who have uh, youth who are interested in science, this is the website for you. www.scicerv.org forward slash STS. You got that? And if you didn't, 
Go to Google and type in Intel, I-N-T-E-L, Science Talent Search. Next is the Thurgood Marshall Scholarship Fund. You can go to thurgoodmarshallfund.org. Next one is the Gates Millennium Scholarships. This is an annual scholarship, and this website is way too long for me to read, so you simply go to uh, Google and, and type in Gates Millennium Scholarship, and it'll pop up, okay, because there's tons. Bill Gates has lots of scholarships available for you. McDonald's has a scholarship. McDonald, actually, it's www www.mcdonaldsnvmetro.com Broke Scholars Scholarship. Now this is funny. Broke Scholars Scholarship. Well, just type in, go to Google and type in Broke Scholars Scholarship. The next one is the National Society of Black Engineers Scholarships. This is an organization that I facilitated a networking seminar for uh, several years back. Go to the National Society of Black Engineers Scholarships. Just Google it in and it'll, it'll come up. Also, the College Board Scholarship Search. That's a long one. Just go to Google and type in College Board Scholarship Search. There's also, I've just got so many, I'll just give you, this is one for the paralegal scholarships. You can just go to Google, type in paralegal scholarships. There's scholarships for that. The Siemens Foundation. You can type in www.siemens/foundation.org. There is the College Board Scholarship Search. You can just type in College Board Scholarship Search. We've only got a, a minute or two to go here, and I'm going to give you a few more. So don't worry about the time, Bill. You can, we can run the credits later. International Student Scholarships and Aid Help. That address is www.iefa.org. And there's also another one here I think you would be interested in for the, for the inventors who are thinking of inventing things. It's www.invent.org slash collegeit. And let me see if I can find another one for you. No, we don't want to do loans. I don't know how that got in there. How about www.holocaust.hklaw.com? Dot com. One more, the WilsonFund.org. Type in WilsonFund.org. And for nurses, www.blackexcel.org slash nursing dash scholarships dash html. And I think that's just about it because we've got so many. I could spend a whole show or another show or year talking about this. But I hope you had a chance to write some of those scholarships down. And I want to thank you for being a part of this show. Don't give up on your dreams. If you really want to go back to college, there's money out there and it's available. All you have to do is make the decision to go online, turn that computer on, go to the internet. You'll be glad you did. I'm your host, Shalomith of the Higher Learning Network. Thank you so much for joining us. Stay on purpose, stay empowered, and I'll see you at the top. And thanks for watching.